Hi, I'm Joe Penovich, and my project was No Delay, a homework management app for students. What is procrastination? Procrastination is the act of delaying a task until a later point, despite knowing that it may have negative consequences, and it is a huge problem among high school and college students. Data from a study that administered students' online assignments found that most participants delayed completing an assignment to the last day. Not only that, but those who did also had lower scores than nearly all other participants who completed the assignment earlier in the week. But procrastination doesn't only affect scores, it can also cause significant stress too. From a survey of Bullis Upper School students, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 meaning not stressed at all, and 10 meaning overwhelmingly stressed, nearly two-thirds of people who responded indicated a 7 or higher on the stress scale as a result of procrastination. What I wanted to do to solve this problem was to create a tool that would help students manage their time and assignments efficiently. And I thought an app would be the best course of action to accomplish this. Here's a quick demonstration of how my app works. As you can see, we have the main interface right here. It says, Welcome Joe, and it says the current time. And it says I don't have any assignments right now. Well, let's change that. Then I add that assignment, and as you can see, I have an assignment here. I can delete this assignment, I can start this assignment. If I start this assignment, and it'll start a timer right here with the little title right here. I can pause, and then I can continue this assignment. If I delete this assignment, the timer resets. Each stage of my project had different tasks for me to accomplish. The summer was learning about how to program and develop apps in Xcode and brainstorming different ideas for my project. Fall was more in-depth in developing, as well as strategies on developing apps that I learned from articles, tutorials, and actual developers. Winter was my main start in developing my app, starting with the physical structure and basic content. Spring was about finishing up the functions of my app, having the app save data, developing the algorithm, and working with the graphic design. The early stages of my projects were just learning Xcode, which is a software developed by Apple to make iOS, Mac OS, TV OS, and watch OS programs, programs, and uses the programming language Swift. I also did a lot of brainstorming of what I wanted my app to do, and originally, my app was just going to be used to time assignments with the ability to silence notifications and prevent access to some apps that absorb productivity. But ultimately, I decided on making an app that could manage assignments and schedule times to complete those assignments instead. I did a lot of research on how developers piece their development process in creating an app and how user experience specialists create the structure and layout of an app for it to appeal to users. I based the structure and development process of my app on what I learned from this research. Then I had the privilege of speaking with a few software engineers from Next Century Corporation and a senior software engineer from LinkedIn. I learned a lot about how real world development works, how their day is constructed, how their process flows, and how they solve problems in development and programming. I first started with creating the basic layout of my app. I wanted to create a simple design that was easy to navigate. I focused on how the user could interact with the elements on the screen and how information was displayed and whether it was easy to read and comprehend. I then started focusing on creating how the actual app works and the behind the scene work. This included the assignments and their buttons, the lists and sorting assignments, timing assignments, and programming the layout to respond to user input. Right here, we have a screenshot of the code that acts as the structure for assignments with its properties like the name, the due date, and the duration. Although I wasn't able to finish coding my algorithm in time for the symposium, I did have a flowchart of how it'd work. First, the user would input their preferences, the most important of which were the times that the user was not available. The program would not schedule the user to start assignments when they were in school, at work, at practice, or whenever the user specified. Then, the program would search through whenever the user was available. After that, the program would use the current date of an assignment the due date of an assignment, and all the available times to schedule the start of an assignment. Once the start time is near, the program would notify the user that they should start this assignment soon. Once the user completes the assignment, the program would ask a few quick questions about the assignment and collect data. The program would use the saved data to recognize trends and then provide recommendations for the user when they're creating a new assignment. This is the main function of the app that would help users to plan their assignments and complete them on time. There are still a few things that I would love to put in my app. Some of them are major improvements and fixes, while others are helpful additions but not completely essential to the main function of the app. This would include 
finishing up the algorithm so that the main function of the app would be complete, adding notification features to the app so that the program reminds users when they should start assignments, creating other pages of the app like a calendar so users can oversee and manage all of their assignments, and an interface to create classes, which allow the user to designate different assignments into different classes, like math or English. I had a lot of successes and a lot of struggles. Both helped shape how I'd work on my project and how I will start and finish projects in the future. What I learned is that you have to cut your project into smaller tasks and then schedule those small tasks one after another. Those small tasks over time become a long-term project like where I stand today. And documenting your work is very important. If you've made a mistake, you might not know where that mistake came from unless you can backtrack and look at your previous work. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. 